Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 21st video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow Developer. So in my last video, I have shown you three very important use cases of the UI action. And each and every use case I have explained you and also shown you in my PDI how you can solve it, right? And very importantly, the GSFT submit method, if you remember, that's the one of the most important method by using which you can use UI action both in the client side and in the server side at the same time. So if you missed that video, guys, don't worry. The link will be there in the description. And also you can find the link here on your screen. Please go and watch the video. Not only watch, also practice it in your PDI, all those use case, so that you can become confident being a ServiceNow developer, right? Now from today's video, I would start doing the application development, the custom application development. Now, you know, this series that I'm doing, especially for the ServiceNow developer and also clearing the ServiceNow CAD examination, right? Which is the certified application developer. Now in the certification name also, you can check like it's the application developer, right? You would be a certified application developer. So you need to know how to develop an application from the scratch. So that's what I'm going to show you throughout this upcoming videos that how you are going to build custom application inside of the ServiceNow platform. And with that, we are going to learn a lot of things right now before developing the custom application. We need to understand what is custom application and to understand what is custom application. We need to understand what are the different applications that are available in ServiceNow, right? And it is very important that you know these concepts because if you know this concept, then while doing the or while building the custom application, you would understand things in more better way. So these are very, very important, right? So let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. All right. So first we would start with what is ServiceNow application? First, we understand what is ServiceNow application. Then we would see what is partner application. Very, very important one. Then finally, we would see what is custom application. And then we will see when we should build an application in ServiceNow platform. What are the things that we need to take care? Again, very important. Then I will show you some of the example of ServiceNow custom applications. And finally, I will talk about building the custom application, right? So I hope you are excited, guys. Make sure you watch the full video to understand each and everything. And also on the perspective of building custom application, I will share all the details with you in today's video. OK, so let's start the video. What is ServiceNow application? ServiceNow application, by the name, you can understand the application that is developed by ServiceNow itself. So these are like, for an example, incident management, change management, service catalog, HR service delivery. So these are the application that we get in generally out of the box, right? So if you see the next point, it is available immediately when you activate the instance, which is the out of the box. So we have seen when we get our developer instance, these modules are already present. So these are the application that is developed by the service now. So also it receives the updates and enhancements through new platform release. So as these are the service now application. So whenever there is a new platform release or any patches update happens. So this application gets updates and enhancements, right? So I hope it is very clear. What is service now application now? Very importantly, what is partner application? Application that is developed by the service now partners. Uh, come on, it's very easy one. But now who are the service now partners? So service now partners are nothing but the independent companies that have been certified by service now to provide expertise in different area to extend service now platforms core capability. So what do I mean by that? So you can see it can address specialized needs for specific industries like healthcare, finance, manufacturing, retail, public sector and many more. So for an example, a healthcare organization, they already use service now to manage, you know, the ITSM stuff, the IT service management part, but they also need to have an application by which they can manage the availability of the bed and also staff management in the hospital. Now for that, they can reach out to any companies who are partnered by service now and from that company. So suppose they reach out to the XYZ company uh, and that XYZ company as they are the partner of service now. So they have the expertise, you know, for this kind of industry needs, right? So they would provide a team 
and that team will be responsible to build the application for the healthcare organization. Also, the XYZ company has many different clients available, right? They can introduce ServiceNow different capabilities to the existing client. So maybe there is some need for automation. So, you know, that XYZ company can propose that with the help of ServiceNow Flow Designer, we can do that or many more different things they can propose. Right. So this is how partners are important and ServiceNow has started this partner application stuff. So ServiceNow has more than 2000 partners. OK, I'll share you a link uh, by which you can, you know, get all the details of the partner. And also, you know, they are even categorized in different uh, categories. So you'd get all the idea of that. OK, and very importantly, partner applications are available in ServiceNow store and it is maintained by the partner who developed them. So it's quite a same like a, if you build a application, Android application and you move it to the or you uploaded it to the Play Store, right? Uh, same goes for the Apple application. You uploaded it to the App Store. In the same way, these partners companies, they build their own application and they can upload it in the they upload it in the ServiceNow store. So if you visit ServiceNow store, you would find different applications. Partner applications are available. Some of them are free or some of them are paid monthly paid system also. Right. So some of the example would be Splunk Enterprise Security, Clarity PPM, Gendex for uh, ServiceNow, etc. Right. So these are the partner application. Now, finally, what is custom application? So I hope you already got an idea about what is custom application, right? So application that is developed to address unique business needs or processes not covered by the standard application. So if we take the same example of the healthcare organization, they were dealing with the ServiceNow ITSM stuff that was working good. They wanted to make some application which would help them to know the availability on the bed. Also stuff management, patient management. So there are different things uh, that had, has to manage in a healthcare organization or in an hospital, right? So those application can be considered as a custom application because those applications are creating to address a unique business needs, right? Which is not available in the standard application, right? So these custom application can be developed by the organization's internal service now expert team. So if that healthcare organization has a specialized team, right? So they can specialize team on service now so they can build that or they have to reach out to a partner companies who are expert in service now. So in general, what happens when a customer is looking for develop an application? So they are doing the business, right? So they do not have that technical capabilities or understanding of service now. So they reach out to service now companies, service now partners, partner companies help them to build the application and also, you know, maintain the application, all other different things, right? So I hope you got an idea about the partner application, uh, who are the service now partners and custom application, right? Idea of it. Service now provides different tools to create custom application. Very, very important. Studio. That is the tool that we are going to use when we will create our custom application. Very, very powerful one. I will explore about Studio more in upcoming videos. Then also we have App Engine Studio, which is again the low code one. Very, very powerful. Again, I would create a separate playlist for App Engine Studio, but at the time being for ServiceNow CAD examination, it is not that important. Then we have UI Builder. Again, I will create a separate playlist. It is very, very important and it is being used by different client in the market. Also, we have flow designer and etc. So you already know flow designer I have videos on it, but this time flow designer we are going to use inside of our custom application, right? Now, very importantly, in what scenario you should consider creating an application or custom application in the ServiceNow platform, right? So before you build an application in the ServiceNow platform, you have to take care of these things. First, you have to realize or understand that whether this application fit for the ServiceNow platform, which is very, very important. Now more about it, we would learn while developing our use case. Now, these are the very important points that you need to remember while creating an application inside of the ServiceNow. So you should only develop custom application in ServiceNow when the data is structured and can be used in relational database. That's the first thing. Second, when you need to interact with the form to do different services. So we know that ServiceNow is very good at, you know, forms and list stuff we have seen uh, and all the tables have this form view and list view. So where you need to manage process using different workflows, again, workflows, flows, uh, flow designer, we have seen how important it is to do the automation work. So if that something can meet the requirements, then you should go for it. Where you need to send notifications on the user or group of users. Again, we have in ServiceNow the notification, uh, the events, all those stuff that we can do. Where you need to use reporting and dashboard capability, one of the finest feature of ServiceNow that is reporting dashboard. So again, that could be a great option and many more. 
these are not everything but these are the one of the so these are the important points that you need to keep in mind while build an application in service now so when we will build the custom application in upcoming videos so we have to keep it mind all these points okay now i'll show you some list of the service now custom applications that is built in service now like contract management we have time card management customer feedback management truck maintenance medical device tracking loan application processing supply chain management course registration and enrollment and many more so you can see in different fields service now can be a very useful tool to create application and finally with that we would build two custom application custom application one what are the things that we are going to see phases of building custom application so before building the custom application we need to see the phases like all the requirements is it match properly or not what what are the desired outcome what are the input and output data all of these things we will go uh, this is very very important guys again i'm telling for the examination and for building the custom application and we will do the custom application in the studio itself i told you we'll connect our application with git to manage source code and it would be a very very important one and your source code will be uploaded in the git lab and also it is very good for the source control i'll show you that next we will create application menu and modules inside of the studio we will configure the client and server side scripts so like ui policy client script business rules script include i have already have different videos on use cases of all these things but now it's time to implement inside of the custom application configure application security so definitely security is a major concern in an application so we will do that we will do the automation work with flow designer we will do schedule script and event we will do importing data and finally we will understand of automation test framework which is the atf these are all the things that I'm going to show you in upcoming videos. Now, custom application two would be for the members and it would be a complex one where I would do all the things which I'm doing in application one. But with that, the use case would be complex. I would create service catalog for our application. Okay. And also integration, I will show you virtual agent very importantly and many more things even I can't think of. So this application two would be kind of a very large one. And again, I will do part by part video in for my members. I'll create a separate playlist uh, for the members also so that they can watch it part by part, right? I will upload it like this. So each and every information I will post in the community. So don't worry on that, right? So if you want to explore the application to the complex one with me, so definitely join the channel. It's a very minimal subscription charge available. So after completing this custom application, I would also upload the videos on the CAD exam preparation, all the questions. And again, that would be available for the members like I already did for the CSA, for the ServiceNow CSA examination, right? So this is it for today, guys. In the next video, we would understand very important things before building the custom application, which is the application scope. Also the namespace, those are very, very important. So make sure you watch these videos to clear your concept. And again, if you have any confusion, let me know in the comment section. If you find the video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel, share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people. And also follow me in my Instagram. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.